Hi guys, this is Superboo3 and today we're playing Devil May Cry 2 HD. This is Lucia Mission 12. We're very close to the end of the game. I th think this should be the penultimate mission. I'm guessing the last mission is just going to be a boss fight anyway, so this would probably be the last true level of the game. Uh, Dante's mode is quite a bit longer and I'll be uploading videos for that afterwards. Uh, this is obviously having shown all of the collectibles and missables throughout the game. I've picked up all of the weapons. I've picked up all of the uh, demon hearts and um, blue orb fragment secret rooms. I've done all of that stuff. Now I've got my style meter up to showtime, I'm just going to shoot stuff to death because that's the easiest way to maintain my uh, style meter. It's lazy, but it's an effective way to get a lot of orbs. I'm not sure if you can use the same trick in three, I can't quite remember. Right, this looks like a wonderful place to get some an S rank if you were struggling up to this point. Although I really kind of messed that up there. Camera's doing me no favours though. It's a shame because I like these bits where I can get up close and personal to enemies, but there's so few and far between in this game. I think they just put way too many flying enemies in the game. Um. Alright, examine that. And there's a secret room. This would be the last secret room. Oh, and this enemy doesn't even feature in Lucia's campaign. She's from, uh, they're from Dante's campaign, this enemy. But we'll find out more about those when we get onto Dante's campaign. And I will say, it's probably the best or the second best boss fight in the game. Um, when you see the walls, so... That's at least one thing to look forward to. Oh man, these guys are fast. I can't be bothered to hit them. Well, that wrecked him. Oh, there he is. My, my second favourite boss in the game. Bolvac. He's the only one who actually you need to dodge against. Kind of reminds me of a snuffed Nello Angelo. And the fact he's got stuff like the million stabs, which is a darn A trademark move is nice to see. Again, not really sure if there's an elemental heart that would have done more damage against him. The um, Chrono Heart does seem to be working out nicely. Oh wow, he actually could kill me here. Oh, 
fact that we've got some health now I can kill him. He's too much of a, he's too difficult to fight with those um wolves there. He's definitely doable otherwise. I do wish the camera was closer though, because I can't actually see when he's trying to attack me. But almost, I can feel that thrill of almost being killed again. Which I thought was going to be completely absent from this run. So it's a bit of a pleasure. Good work, Bolvac. I genuinely didn't expect to see him there. Okay. Anyway, so... We have just one blue orb to collect left with her. Um, and after we do that, we just have to buy the blue orbs from the shop to max out her health. I'm confused. The camera's gone funny. Alright. Okay, so we came in through this way. There's a divinity statue and we have to go this way. I got a feeling this is a really uh, weird level where everything keeps changing as I'm running around. Okay, so every room that I've smashed phases in, I know I've gone into already. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be something like that. I think this is where you fight Bolvec when you're um, Dante. I mean, that much I can remember from when I played this back uh, on the PS2. I'm really not sure about the secret to getting s racks on this game. I mean, I think I'm going to have to get a bunch of stylish com showtime combos during a level. Um, take no damage. And finish in a really quick time. Other things like... Um, I'm trying to think what else they rate on. Not using items. Uh, items is... You just don't use items and you'll get an S rank, which, you know, through the whole way through the game I've just been doing that, so that's not never been a problem. Okay, so we're leaving this room here, I think. Uh, the blue orb is going to be around this point. Um... Trying to work out. I think got this level's gonna be longer than I thought it was. All right, anyway, so we've gone everywhere there, but this part's split.
I'm going to take a quick look at the map, in fact. I think that will give us a clue. I'm going to go the left way down to the bit we've not been before. I oh, know, wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Alright, yeah, so we have the bit we haven't been to is actually this way, so we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna just double check the map. Yes, we haven't been here before, so it should be here somewhere. Aha, and here it is. In this room with the rolling balls, in case you weren't sure. Don't touch the rolling balls, because I think they do something bad to you. I don't know what, but I don't particularly want to find out. Anyway, so we've done that. And time to just get out of here. I this is the right way though, because this looks like a new area. And we haven't been here before, so this is probably through here. Nope, I went completely the wrong way. This is the problem with bits which are like a maze. Okay, so we're in the top bit. So we want to go down. We're going to go right here or left. Then we're going to take a right here. And this should be the right door. was weird. You know, I really thought you would have fought the secretary types. literally a boss that we have to shoot. Yep. Well, to be honest, I've been doing that the whole way through anyway. Although he's not taking much damage, is he? seem right about this. Maybe we can't shoot him while he's split into different heads. I think I managed to injure that blue head that time. Oh, now he's taking damage. Yeah, so it might be because he's not... So when he's one, we can destroy him. When he's separate, we're just going to have to concentrate on dodging him. Oh, 
Now that's interesting, I didn't realise that we can raise the star meter by dodging at the last second. At least I'm fighting something that feels a bit dangerous for once. I mean, again, I know I said Bolvec um, was great and all, but as he wasn't her boss, and I'm only fighting, only fought him because he was in the secret room, I'm not counting that fight. Um, but yeah, this is a boss who seems like he might be a threat even though he's not really doing much to me. I'm, I'm sure on the high difficulties this guy might be a bit tougher though. I'm sure all these bullets are fast and the amount of damage you can do because the thing is he's effectively invincible during his attack phase like this. So um, he would probably give you some trouble. On to the final boss, pretty much. And that trophy's for just beating that boss. Oh, okay, so there's still more of this level. Gonna maintain that S rank combo. Oh, right. I'm gonna fight Arius again. You just feel so out of place. Okay, well, guys, we have now collected every single collectible in Lysia's, um mode. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.